They're some of the NFL's most seasoned veterans. But for three days this offseason, they traded the locker room for a classroom, Everybody like knows. Panthers quarterback Andy Dalton. There's so much like knowledge and so much about the business that you know you don't know when you're just a player. Welcome to the NFL Broadcasting Boot Camp. The advice you're going to get, there's thousands of other people who want to be in these seats who are not going to get it. Where once a year, a select few players learn what it takes to cover a game. We're here to talk about being a game analyst today. There's a lot more that goes into that than you've probably ever dreamed. From the producers who do it every week. You're not in the hot take business when you're doing a game. You can take us to places that we have never gone Training current and recently retired players for potential roles calling the game in the broadcast booth or analyzing it in the studio, like Panthers quarterback Andy Dalton, seen here in his demo reel from the workshop. Now he's getting a chance to go to Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin has already has that thing set up. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly what he wants. You're getting it from the top level people of this is exactly what we're wanting, exactly what we're looking for, and exactly what's going to make you the best version of yourself. The NFL started the workshop in 2007 for players interested in pursuing a second career. Players like Devin McCourty, Richard Sherman, and Jason Kelsey have all taken the workshop before starting their analyst jobs. One hopeful this year, Brandon Graham. Here's a little of his work from the boot camp. Him knowing the scheme and then having the weapons that he had. He only had Justin Jefferson in Minnesota, and he made it work. The defensive end has played more games for the Philadelphia Eagles than anyone in team history. Does this feel in some ways like starting all over again? Oh, yeah, like a, like a rookie all over again. You ain't going to get it all, you know, right in the beginning, but just take it one day at a time. Enjoy the whole process. Why did you want to be a part of this workshop? Because I wanted to put myself to the test and to see if I got what it takes to be, you know, in this space. One of those key experts who knows what it takes is Fred Gadelli. You've got to develop all those other areas as well. Executive producer of Sunday Night Football and Thursday Night Football. These are guys who have spent their entire careers working really hard, whether in season or off season and training, trying to find that extra edge that's going to help them on the field. And one of the things that I always tell them is what made you great as a player, you're going to have to do those same things to be great as a broadcaster. You all are putting them through real types of reps that we get on live TV. Are you seeing improvement from some of these players in real time? Yeah, like their first takes, they're all a little nervous. They're not really sure what to expect. They get a little tongue-tied. But after they've done it once, you know, you kind of see the bravado that a professional athlete has to have take hold, and they're much better the second time around. The league now holds the camp at their Los Angeles studios and has expanded training to podcasts and newer media. I think any quarterback is going to have an opportunity for success if you have that offensive line. As some players, like eight-time pro bowler and current podcaster I mean, Cam Jordan, put it into immediate use. I love all my notes that I've been taking over the last two days. I love the idea that whatever we've been hearing, it's always be authentic, be yourself. Um, and things like I'm doing now, the, the um part, you're supposed to take that out, right? I'm supposed to take a minute, breathe. Is it a little bit like watching game film as you study? Absolutely. I, I, I'm just trying to make all my notes more pertinent for me. Adding that repetition to reputation and aiming for success. There's an old saying, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And if you can say it in a way that, you know, makes an audience perk up their ears, makes an audience smile, uh, has impact on an audience, you've got a chance to have a pretty solid career. So, guys, I'm actually here in Baltimore ahead of Thursday Night Football's Ravens-Bengals matchup tonight. And Ravens long snapper Nick Moore was one of those guys in the broadcasting boot camp. Imagine the positions he has been in. Games on the line, he's got a snap for a field goal. And yet he said participating in the broadcast boot camp was one of the most nerve-wracking things he's ever done. He said he was sweating bullets. He thought he was the only one. But when he started comparing notes with the other players, he said, we all were. It was such a step outside of their comfort zones. And he said, Tom Brady's shown him it's not as easy as it looks. That's You're right. right.
You make it look it's easy, not. though, Kaylee. Yeah. I sure do. It's I'm like always, imagine us on the football field. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, always, <laughs> I've always thought, like, the guys who do it well, it's, it's the highest form of broadcasting if you think about it because you're observing events in real time. Right. Mm. You're synthesizing, you're processing that information, you're mm. distilling it down for the viewer, mm. and you're, you're explaining it to a lot of folks who don't really understand all the rules of the sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's, it's an art form. Yeah, without you a, did that without really a prompter. Well. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> 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 Whatever you just said was cool. Tell your wife that. She does. Do an end zone dance uh, now. No. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Uh, I went to the Today Show boot camp. We have something like that media training boot camp for Today Show. Yeah, we do. It's called MTV. <laughs> MTV. Led me up to this moment. Yeah, there you go. Trains you well. Yeah. And this uh, end of it, it's local news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. Sure. Everything that's you right. did, and that's without our without our stations, mm -hmm. we're nothing. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.